Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this day where I am watching all the things. I'm in my leisure wear. I have my lemonade and all of you and we're here for Lucifer season two, episode 11. We left off. Okay. So, okay. So <laughs> once upon a time, God sent a minideal down to earth to this couple and said, give them a baby. And so he did. <laughs> And that baby is Chloe. Is this the first time God has some, done something like that? Is this the only time God has done something like that? And why? So that someday, 35 years in the future, she crosses Lucifer's path? Is that the most momentous thing that happened this last episode? Maybe the person responsible for Chloe's dad's murder was found not guilty. However, he received some sort of justice. Mm -hmm. And then we have the potential kiss. We had leaning. We have leaning. Will we continue to lean or will we pull back? I don't know, we'll have to watch. So I'm ready to go. I know you're ready as well. So as we get under the big cozy blanket, you're gonna put subscribe. And also remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon. Okay guys, let's get to it. Why is she leaning? Why is she leaning now? Why now? Why? Well, I, I got your burgers and fries, but I forgot the ketchup. <gasps> I hate ketchup. <laughs> Foolish compliment. Lucifer, hello. This is your flight attendant speaking. Well, I hope you're upright. <laughs> I didn't know you were expecting Did, did he have it? I Cause just anybody can come up that elevator. Hey, thought we could rack up some miles. And she's just ready to throw she's down. Welcome to join us. She's, she's ready to throw down. Detective, please come on. I mean, we were, we were having a moment. A real moment, an intimate moment. I'm not angry. I'm glad she showed up. She just kept me from making a big mistake. Detective. A mistake. She called you a mistake. I'm afraid this flight's grounded. You want some juice with your eggs, honey? Trixie is alive! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> They're a wondrously scrumptious start to your day. Ooh. Who got you this, Maze? You're my favorite. Please, please, mommy. That's more like a dessert. Okay, but only because I missed story time. Were you working last night? Uh, no, I had a little dinner. So if you weren't working, was it like a date? With flowers and candles and songs about naked stuff? No. <laughs> songs about naked stuff. Check it out. His body was found. Someone got his ass. Yeah, someone told me he died this morning. I heard. <gasps> she heard. And why aren't you happy? Your father's killer finally got what he deserved. Not in the way she wanted it, though. What Perry Smith deserved was to rot in jail for the rest of his life. But still, pretty awesome that someone took him out, right? Whoever did this is no better than he was. Mm-hmm. This will be a puzzle for Maze. <gasps> I wouldn't even go there. Uh-uh. New visitors policy, hot women turning up unannounced are no longer welcome, especially those who are secretly my mother. <laughs> well, I think you'll make an exception when you hear what I have to say. Well, spit it out. I don't have an eternity here. Oh, yes, actually, I do. <laughs> I just want you gone. <laughs> I wanted to prove to you that Chloe wasn't worthy of you. I gave her every incentive to turn on you. But she didn't. It's a midpoint. What you couldn't destroy, I did all on my own. But I do know that Chloe proved herself to you. Maybe now it's your turn. Your turn for what? Maybe now it's time that you prove yourself to her. Yeah, okay. So. What's the 
and what's the happily ever after look like for Luc Lucifer and Chloe? Lucifer, we are very different people with very different personalities, and I'm not judging. I'm a homicide detective, not the slut police, and I mean you. Oh, she's judging. She's judging. What I'm saying is things have changed now since we had our moment. We didn't have a moment. Yes, we did. And I can assure you, detective, I will never lay eyes on that flight attendant again. Because I smited her. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Jana. Always with the tragic timing. That is randomly coincidental. I think I deserve the term. We hardly knew each other, really. So a woman showed up to your house for sex and you barely knew her. Mm -hmm. Guilty as charged. Jana left five minutes after you did, alive. I believe you, but can anyone else confirm your story? Yeah, Lucifer, because people tend to leave you and then die. <laughs> Are you jealous, Detective? No, I'm just trying to piece together a timeline. A lot can happen in five minutes. You can't be suggesting that you slept with her. I'm not. No, that I'm a two pump chump. Yeah, that would be more more insulting. Maybe she'd still be alive. Oh. Well, that's something to feel guilty about. All threatening texts, all sent from the same number. Ditch the loser from Lux. <laughs> Ditch the loser from Lux. <laughs> Lux is terrible. She was seeing someone else at Lux. I think it means you. <laughs> I'll send you the address, Chloe. Is it Charlotte? Oh no, Maze. We're basically famous. Are you nuts? And I thought that we could uh, celebrate our righteous kill. With how? We didn't kill anyone, okay? We just... We gave karma justice a little nudge. We're not having a drink. We shouldn't even be seen together until all this blows over. Do you get it? She just wants to have a good time and just celebrate a win so bad. <laughs> Go get ice cream with Trixie and call it good. Trying to blend in? <laughs> and obviously you are not Chloe. <laughs> Look at this party. I bet this is your definition of fun, isn't it? Fun for me is being home with Trixie, reading her a book. Really? We're different, but too different. As a wise man once said, opposites attract. Hi, I am looking for Andy Kleinberg. Do you know where he is? Don't waste your time with him. Let me get you a drink. Keep it in your pants, Tommy Bahama. She's spoken for. Andy Kleinberg. You're blocking my view. The view from a jail cell sucks too. Hey, are you a stripper? I'd recommend you stop talking now. So you sent her a threatening text. Ditch the loser from Lux. Yeah. She said she was hooking up with some DJ named Lucifer. DJ. <laughs> Meet me now or else? Yeah, or else this is shut off. No mas. Is that Jamie Kennedy? You and him have a lot in common. We are nothing alike. Really? <gasps> well, that is clearly off the rack. Inferior linen. Why am I so <laughs> taken <laughs> about how wrong that was? <laughs> Victim was in the shower when he was killed. Wait, another body? Another body? On the upside, looks like you didn't have anything to do with this case after all. It's just another coincidence. Pretty sure you didn't sleep with this guy. Ah, uh, actually, you're wrong about that, detective. Raj, so fit. <gasps> this isn't good. What, that a man was one of my lovers? <laughs> it's not that. It's that you slept with both victims. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to find a connection between the two. And so far, all we have is you. Well, I wish I could help you. What, you didn't get details between the sweet nothings? Quite a few, actually, but they were mostly about what he desired, which I doubt you want to hear. I want to hear, please. While Dan's looking into other connections between our victims, we should talk to anyone you slept with. That's a lie. You don't have that many years. Well, what better way to prove my worth to you than a bevy of exes singing my praises? <laughs> sure, that's definitely what's going to happen. OK, a list of everyone you slept with in the last eight weeks. Oh. Right, you'll need a much bigger note. Alphabetically <laughs> or chronologically? <gasps> this can't be everybody. Um, 
Now, this is a waste of time. I refuse to believe that one of my former lovers would kill another. And people will go to crazy lengths for the ones they love, even if they're the ones who suggested the split. <laughs> and still have feelings, even though they shouldn't. What on earth are you talking about? No, we know. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> yes. But the next day, Lucifer was with another woman. Did that make you jealous? Jealous? Why? They all have similar, slimmer cloliness to them. I knew what I was in for. And what were you in for? The best night of my life. You know, this is actually feeling a bit masturbatory, even for me. He knew exactly what I wanted. And he did this thing? <laughs> a pan flute and a butternut squash. I was improvising. I didn't have any zucchinis. With some Vaseline and a car battery? What? That was a move I call gentlemen start your engines. Did you and Lucifer have any intimate moments? Obviously we were intimate. Did you not hear about the honey? I mean, <clears throat> emotional intimacy. Like, um, mm -mm. did Lucifer uh, bring you dinner or? <laughs> I mean, I certainly wouldn't hurt anyone over him. <gasps> There was no reason to hurt anyone. I mean, he was just a meaningless one night stand. Oh no. It's just sex. It's just sex. There was no emotional connection. It's just fun. But meaningless. Meaningless. It meant nothing. Nada. I never saw him again. See where I'm going with this? Mm-hmm. 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 Thanks for calling me in. I actually wanted to speak with you. You impressed me. Really? Yeah. Mm. I underestimated you. I was trying to prove that you weren't worthy of him. What about the other women that you don't think are worthy of him? What'd you do to them? <laughs> Nothing. They are inconsequential. You're different. He's different when he's with you. And Chloe doesn't think this is an odd conversation. I'm glad he found someone. He deserves a woman like you in his life. You're not going to tell Chloe about me and Charlotte, right? Well, as long as you promise to never touch Charlotte again. It's not a problem. Good. The last thing I need is a step down. <laughs> you say some really weird things, man. <laughs> you ever do something awesome for somebody and they just don't care? I'm a therapist. Being taken for granted's in the job description. Hmm. Uh, like, for example... It's my lunch time! uses your lunch break for free therapy and doesn't say thank you. You want me to take care of this friend of yours? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I don't care what anyone thinks of me. Of course you do. We all do. You know, and that's okay. I actually think you're more human than a lot of people I know. Take that back. <laughs> friend and a great person. Demon. You're saying I'm awesome. I'm saying that you need to say that you're awesome. Believe that you're awesome. Yes, you're awesome. Hell yeah, I am. Thanks, Doc. What, girl? The creepy weirdo. She was always in the corner of the club. She just gave this death stare. Daggers. OK, can you give me a description? Maze, they look all like maze. Are you sure you don't recognize her? No, which is strange, because I remember the face of everyone I've been with. Oh, maybe she's Mask Girl. Let me guess, Halloween? What? No, President's Day. Of course. This case, not the trip down memory lane you were hoping for? That's almost enough to make a man question the way he's lived his life. Almost. <laughs> At least one of my former lovers might be willing to kill for me. Oh, it's open. Oh no, she's dead! She's dead. Anyone home? Not technically. <gasps> this isn't creepy at all. Whoa. See? I told you someone cared. Whoa. 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 Multiple chest hair options. Amazing. That can make a lasting impression. <gasps> Sookie Price, LAPD. What are you doing in my... Ah! Lucifer! Okay, well, hey, I... hey. She didn't hear them outside her door. 
at all. <laughs> Nixon, I'm quite certain we've not slept together. Well, I could have told you that. Care to explain the wall? Wow, she's got a cardboard cut out. You're my perfect man. Like porn, and stuffed crust pizza, and my Hello Kitty blankie all rolled into one. Right, I see what's happened here. Not having sex with me drove her into a murderous, psychotic rage. We're investigating the deaths of Jana Lawrence and Raj Donier. You heard of them? I have all of Lucifer's lovers categorized. Wow. How did she get such information like uh, names? Here is a flight attendant section. The flight <laughs> Here's Jana with Raj. So the two of them knew each other. And the pilot. Two days ago, the last time Lucifer and Jana hooked up. Yes, I have to correct you. There was no hookup. Mm. But I made a commemorative doll. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes. Well, excellent detail on the French cuffs. Black square. Mm. <laughs> Who's the third person in this photo? <laughs> How did she get that photo? How did she get this photo? Right, goodbye. <laughs> I think that's like my second favorite scene of the series so far. <laughs> Italian beans. Where are, th are they? Now, this is Charlotte's house? Our pilot's name is Tim Pickman. He's got a record, drugs and assaults. Used to work for a big airline, now he flies rich dudes on small jets. His recent routes are the Caribbean, Mexico City, Akamenabad. It's all hot spots for drug smugglers. How are you going to stop him, pumpkin? Dare he risk his car in such a fashion? Oh, thank God. You're a Who's in the cabin? I was afraid you were trying to kill me. What? Who's in, who's in the cabin? Who's in the cabin? My two closest friends just got murdered. I thought I might be next, and I was not about to stick around to find out. I only know him as Bert. Guy smuggles a lot of drugs into the country. Because I helped him? No. He uses young women like Jana to mule. He recruits them on the party circuit in Malibu, offers some cash, free travel, whatever they desire. And what is it you desire, Tim? I want to build a cat sanctuary. As one does. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> I got into trouble using drugs years back. And then I adopted Twinkle. Right, skip along, Tim, because no one really wants to hear about your feline meat cute. On Jana's last flight, a package went missing. And when she didn't have it, he went after Raj, and now me. Is there any way to get a hold of this guy? Wait, he went after me. So where did he go after he went after you, or you just think he went after you? The phrasing was odd. In order to lure out our murderous kingpin from hiding, all we need to do is for someone to pretend to have this mysterious package. Uh, Tim, who else was on the flight? Just me, Andy Kleinberg, my co-pilot. Andy Kleinberg! A new flight attendant. So Bert may not have known what she looked like. Sharon. I'm in. Okay, but you understand what you're agreeing to, right? Sure. Do I still get to rough him up before the cops do? We'll be close by, but technically, yeah. More in. <laughs> More in! Because I take risks for my friends, and I don't need your thanks. Am I supposed to be thanking you for something? No. <laughs> the self-worth comes from within, bitches. Bitches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could not just have people in my house randomly without me knowing they're there. Lucy, you've never exactly been the type to get emotionally attached to anyone. That's how I've come to realize, but what does that say about me, brother? Is this about Chloe? And uh, why would you think that? Because why wouldn't it be about Chloe? When it comes to Chloe, perhaps you've been underestimating yourself. 
Careful, brother. That sounds dangerously like a compliment. Ah, take it how you like. You're... So if you really want to know if you're a worthy romantic partner, ask yourself. So how does Chloe and Lucifer getting together? Leave heaven open for the return. <laughs> a little too much, mate. A little too much. <laughs> Why are you sitting so close? The killer won't show if this reeks of the setup. Exactly. If we were strangers, you'd be hitting on me. <sighs> Looks like we'll be getting that celebratory drink after all. Mm -hmm. Two vodkas, please. Did I finish my question? Anywho, yeah, how does that get them back up to heaven? You need to own up to what you did. Yeah, be proud of it. Self-worth comes from within, Dad. I think I'm good, thank you. I don't think you are. I think you feel a lot better if you just paint clean. Don't. If you won't say it, I will. Mace. For your own good. Don't say another word. Why? So what if you slept with Charlotte Richards? <gasps> Dan slept with Charlotte? <laughs> Is there anyone who hasn't slept with that woman? Uh... <laughs> As far as our so-called moment, I let my emotions get the best of me the other night, okay? I made a mistake. You and me, it's not happening. For now. My priority right now is this case, okay? So just step outside and get some air. I don't need it. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> Lot of water for LA on the road. <laughs> You are one of the prettiest flight attendants I've ever seen. I'm Bert. Hi, Bert. You ready for takeoff? And they're off. <laughs> they're off. <laughs> are you ready for the package? Mm -hmm. I think this is supposed to be my line. I know you killed that flight attendant and her friend, dirtbag. <gasps> oh. No, no, no. My name's Jim. Some guy gave me a C note, told me to sit next to you and say I was Bert. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Bert, I presume. That's it. Make my day. Can I keep him? Get her off me. She's insane. Um, so he thinks Lucifer has the package? Recognized you from the beach party. Of course. Tommy Bahama. Oh, it's good. Tommy Bahama. Okay. Okay. Should have known Jana left it with you after I saw her looks. I don't have it. Liar. Come now. To the eyes! The cocaine isn't worth all the senseless killing. What's in that package is far more valuable than drugs. It's my ass on the line of that stupid bitch, Jana. Finally, we get some superpowers. We promised Jana the world and everything she could ever desire. Money, drugs, a life of pleasure. But she deserved better than that. Better than you. Or me. We're similar in a lot of ways, aren't we, Bert? Except for one. You're a bad man. And I'm not. I'm much, much worse than that. There's your killer, detectives. <laughs> please, okay, please, just, just arrest me, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Lucifer goes all Lucifer. Something still bothers me. Bert went to a lot of trouble for a single drug deal. Yeah, well. Are we setting up for a a bigger, bigger case? How did you find me? I'm sorry I took it. I was desperate. I'm broke. I thought it was drugs. I was gonna sell them. And I opened it. One of them broke. <gasps> I spilled a little on myself, man. Oh no. What the hell is happening to me? <laughs> so we've got a bigger case. 
we got a bigger case. Well, we should wrap up the arrest report. And by that, I mean paperwork, not some celebratory drink that you'll then turn into a moment. I realized it would never work out between us. So, now on, no more attempts at moments. I like moments. Moments are great. Continue working by your side. If you're happy. It's not like you to give up. But... Oh, no, I haven't given up. I had a, an epiphany of sorts. You deserve someone worthy of you, and that isn't me. Mm. That's not what I've been saying, Mr. Brown. I know. That's what I'm saying. You deserve someone better. You always put your daughter first, even though the ungrateful urchin does nothing to contribute to the rent. Mm -hmm. So, you deserve someone worthy of that grace. Somebody knows that every crime scene breaks your heart, even though you'd never admit it. More importantly, detective, you deserve someone as good as you. Because... He's making himself awfully kissable. You're special. And I'm... I'm not worth it. Yeah. You're probably right. Detective. I still don't know if that's too soon. Okay, so I have two, two things. So two big questions. Okay, two and a half, two and a half, half. Here's the half, okay, half. Chloe and Lucifer, something's gotta come between them because there's no way in three and a half more seasons they're gonna be together together. Unless, unless, okay. Something's gotta, there's gonna have to be some dumb misunderstanding pinging them apart unless, so the reason I love paranormal romances so much is that there's a bigger, something else, the bigger bad is out there driving them physically apart. Every once in a while, a little emotionally apart, but mostly it's the bigger bad driving them apart. But they know pretty much early on that's their person. Somehow, some way they sense that that is their person. And the story goes with them just getting closer together. That's what happens here. I will be so happy. But I don't think that they're going to give us that. I think there's going to be a misunderstanding of some point that drives them apart and together and apart and together or something. No, 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 I hope not, but I think that's what it's going to be. So, besides that, my two big questions is, rhetorically speaking, I should say, this bigger, bigger case, this mysterious figure with this biotechno weapon, okay, <laughs> Okay, mm hmm And then the second part is how Charlotte-ish, Charlotte goddess, goddess Charlotte. So Chloe and Lucifer, an item. How does that get you back into heaven? Is it distracting Lucifer? He's already distracted from his duties. What's the point of putting Chloe in front of Lucifer? and having him gain more of a well-rounded sense of connection to people. Ooh, is this God's way of making his humanity project work, be successful? Is it the son whose whole job is to punish people, ends up loving the people he's supposed to eventually punish? And how does that get Charlotte back into heaven. And then what's she gonna do when she gets there? She's not gonna get back together with her husband. Is she? What is her? Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, <laughs> but we have a kiss. What does that mean? What does that mean? But it was a moment, we saw that moment coming. He was making himself totally, utterly irresistible. She had no choice. She had no choice. She had no choice. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Lots more story to go. Too much story almost to go. 
Hmm, but I want you there with me for those adventures. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Click subscribe ding, ding, so you know when things drop. And I don't know why sometimes my videos appear in your feed and sometimes they don't. That's a YouTube thing that's beyond techno. Uh-uh. Here. But if you hit subscribe, maybe that will help. And then take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. Stay hydrated. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.